Well, it wasn't per se that I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I had a big dream of a product that I wanted to exist. And I kept waiting for the product to emerge from the world, and it didn't happen. So uh, at some point, I was tired of waiting. I decided I'll just make it myself, and that's what happened. <laughs> Yes, of course. Um, the thing is to switch from being a, a startup to a real enterprise. What you really need is recurring business. So you want customers who stay a customer and who keep ordering your services, who keep building on your project. Um, and we, we have encountered two markets where we experience that this is the case. Uh, but now we are not sure how to develop this further. So should we invest in uh, more technical staff? Should we invest in more sales staff? That's still a challenge for us. Yes, there's a, um, um, well, an organization called Brio in Flanders, which is like FOCA, but even a little younger. Um, and they really uh, organize sessions where you can meet people uh, specialized in the, the kind of problems that you have. And you can say, yeah, I want to meet him and him and him. So and on one day, you can uh, ask experienced entrepreneurs the same question. And then you have three valid opinions of the, the task that you are trying to tackle. And then you can see what you do with it. But that's it's a very effective way to gain advice. Well, I would say um, fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. You just have to do it and see what happens and adapt. And if you have a passion, you will survive for sure.